Hey guys, Mr. Fugusi here, welcome to the first vlog on this channel. I'm an indie game developer, I make video games about dinosaurs, uh, and I decided that I want to start this vlog to show people, like, what is life like as an indie developer? Because I've gotten lots of questions, I really like doing stuff with our community. Um, but, you know, lots of people are interested in game development but don't really know how it works, they don't have a good idea how to get that information either. So for those of you that are just interested in people like myself that are doing indie game development, for those of you that are interested in our games and would like to hear more about it on a more consistent basis, and for those of you that are interested in indie game development overall and want to know, like, is this like something for me? I'd like to do these vlogs to keep you guys updated. Um, I'm currently in Zwolle. I live in the Netherlands. Um, it's a beautiful town, lots of water, that sort of thing. I live on one of these houseboats. Um, I also live in Amsterdam where I study business and innovation at the Global School for Entrepreneurship. Um, and in there I am hoping to learn how to facilitate my game development uh, by doing proper business so that I do as little business as I can get away with and I just make the video games that I really like and care about. It's currently Monday morning. Uh, so that's why I'm starting these vlogs now. I'd like to vlog like during the week. Um, so, you know, my weekends I don't work at all. <laughs> I also intend to keep that going throughout the vlogs. Uh, if I work whenever, I will work way too much. That's sort of this tendency I have. Bit of a workaholic, uh, as I think most indie game developers are these days. Um, but basically, um, you know, that means that uh, during the weekends you won't be seeing any vlogs. I have to do like a vlog once every two days or something and then I'll just compile the stuff that happened in the two days I recorded uh, because I think every day I won't have that much interesting to talk about. So it'll be an update about like the games and what progress we've made. Uh, it'll be an update about my life. Jesus, this thing keeps shifting up. Uh, and overall it'll just be like you know, this is what I'm doing, this is what life is like. Uh, so if you're interested in any of that stuff, you'll be up, kept up to date. Right now it's Monday morning, like I said. I have a driving class here in Zwolle at 2pm because he couldn't do it in the morning. I try to have my driving classes Friday afternoon or Monday morning so that I don't have to come to Zwolle during the week because I try to be in Amsterdam where my office is and where my school is. But you know, sometimes that doesn't entirely work out. So right now I'll be here for most of the day, so I'm going to do some work in a minute once I'm back home. Uh, and then in a few hours I'll have the driving class, and then once that's done, I will uh, head back to Amsterdam. And uh, then tomorrow I have class and some other random stuff to do. And other than that, I'll actually just be running around, working on my game. And then uh, probably Friday I'll be coming back to Zola, so the next few days it's just Working in Amsterdam. So right now, I am uh, on the cycling path next to my house. As you can see there, uh, cyclists like this whole path. So it tends to be a little bit of a death trap because, like, this is bend here, which means people can't see chat shit. And over there, on the other side, there's a very busy road. So like, people use this as a crossroads, but what they don't realise is like, there's people living here, you don't see shit, it's very busy, and like, also people tend to just walk it, but it's not very wide, there's like, pretty tall underbrush along both sides, so you can't really deviate off the path, so it's, it's actually surprisingly dangerous for such a tiny path. So, we're now home. And uh, I'm going to do some vacuuming actually first. That sort of thing, going to clean the house a bit. And then I will get to work. See, I actually almost forgot. I need to take out the trash. Going to do that now. Good afternoon, guys. It is like almost 6 pm. Meant to leave earlier, but I'm at the train station now. I have my driving class. It went well. Um, I am now. Going to Amsterdam, I had a conversation with my mum, I watched some YouTube videos, I had a very unproductive day. <laughs> like, 
extremely, I tend to be more productive. Um, I'm going to try and schedule a meeting with Thomas, the Dean of our school, to discuss, like basically, just trying to schedule something with my mum. She figured out that I only have one day of class a week, which I thought she knew, but that shocked her. I haven't necessarily been the happiest about the school, if I'm honest. Um, so I'm trying to schedule a meeting with Thomas about that. So that took a bit longer than intended. And other than that, I've just been sitting back on my stuff, uh, being generally unproductive all around. I'm at the train station now. I'm gonna go to Amsterdam. I'm gonna do nothing on the train for a while. And then uh, once I'm there, I'll, uh, actually I might call Thomas on the train. And uh, because he called me back after I messaged him. Um, and other than that, I'll just do nothing. Once I'm in Amsterdam, I'm gonna get to work probably. So I'll see you guys then probably. Um, just back in the office at long last, um, working on uh, a little thing which I might show you a sneak peek of. Working on the canyon zone. That's all you're going to get there. Uh, just started to did some new stuff on the grass because normal grass doesn't work that well in canyons. Did some stuff on the dirt, the drain, that sort of thing. Worked on the getting Nathan's new rocks integrated. Going to continue doing that. But first, going to eat something. Uh, particularly unhealthy because, well, you know, I'm an indie game developer. Of course, I eat incredibly unhealthy. <laughs> This evening, so far, is going well. Uh, what I have been doing, as you know, is the canyon. Now, for the moment of truth, I am really happy with how it's turning out. I'm not sure about the sheer amount of plants, especially like in that general area, but uh, overall, the general aesthetic, really happy about it. Not sure about the rock specifically yet. Still lots of stuff to tweak and change, obviously. But the general aesthetic is there. I'm really, really happy what we're pulling off so far. So then, of course, because how could it be any different? The time has come for the shameless plug. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, comment, that sort of thing. If you didn't enjoy it, or if you would enjoy something else more, Definitely also let me know. Honestly, let me know that more so. Um, and uh, enjoy the game content. And I hope to see you again in the next vlog. So, uh, cheers. Signing off.